I grew up here in uh, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, uh, not too far from here. Family life was pretty nice, you know, I enjoyed my family. It's just me and my brother and uh, my mom and my dad. Believe it or not, I met my wife when I was in high school. I had five kids. Uh, we were married for about 20 years before we got a divorce. I wanted something to keep me busy for a while, and uh, so I thought I would take up karate, you know, and I was able to achieve my black belt, and I was able to achieve teaching for a while, you know, and it was just a good feeling. It was just something natural for me. Ooh, nice morning. Yeah. What's up, my babe? Man, this neighborhood brings a lot of memories back. I remember riding my bike up and down this block, playing as a kid. This is truly where I came from. This is a part of me. It was like coming back to my roots and uh, starting all over from the beginning to correct some things that ultimately went wrong in my life. I met Kenneth through martial arts, probably 25, 30 years ago. Uh, Kenneth was um, a, in the karate dojo that I studied. I was teaching him the techniques, I was helping him, I was guiding him and um, giving him suggestions, and we were working together. I then got my black belt and we kind of parted ways. Yeah, I had some challenging years. Uh, I ended up, you know, start using drugs, and uh, I ended up doing some time in prison. That was the point where I really lost my family. You know, I lost everything because of the addiction, because of the uh, uh, incarceration. If we don't have a way to have a system that allows people to work, then the next choice is, I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna take. And then when you take, then you go to prison. One of the challenges is anybody who's coming out of the institution who wants to get a job, you know, is, is the felony uh, piece. Whenever they got to that point in their application of putting down, have you ever had any infraction with the law, they said that most of the time their applications or the interview just stopped right there. Within the city of Milwaukee, we are falling short. Currently, right now, Milwaukee is ranking somewhere between fourth and fifth most impoverished cities in, in our United States. We were able to secure a large grant from ELCA World Hunger in order to undergird um, the financial piece of starting a new jobs ministry, which, of course, will help people be able to be sustaining in life and be able to obviously have food, purchase food, have shelter, and all the things that go along with the pieces of what World Hunger normally does. And so we started working with people to help them find work and to help them hold their heads up. When I came in, I thought, I felt that I had it together, and I found out I didn't. By societal standards, your job determines your self-worth. You're not taking care of your family. You don't have access to credit. You don't have access to being able to buy a home. You don't have access, period. We want individuals to work one job for one year. One job for one year to, to just strengthen up your, your stability of working. You know, he says, I want to improve my life, and I need your help. And he was humble enough to ask for help. So Kenneth has just grown tremendously and he got a contract to clean a school. And he now is a person who helps others. Somewhere down the line, because of what you've done in life on the negative side, you gotta learn, you gotta give back. You know, when you see someone committed to volunteerism, um, you know they're gonna be a great employee too. You know, I, I know Kenneth is gonna do okay. I'm just very excited seeing how this thing's playing out in God's hands, you know, just watching how this is all playing out. And as long as he's willing to go through this challenge, Kenneth knows he's not alone. I think for me, self-dignity, it makes you feel like you are somebody, you are part of this world, and you, you're contributing. 
at the end of the day, you feel good about yourself because you've done something positive. You, you've done something that could contribute to your family, to yourself, and to your community.